welcome to radio frequency and microwave laboratory in, in this video we are going to practice fixed attenuator and its operational procedure and by using power ratio method we are going to find attenuation constant this is prashant laboratory assistant department of ec rgkt basa This is block diagram of fixed attenuator. Change setup. Here we use microwave power supply. If we are using klystron. Here we use klystron tube. If here we are using gun power supply, here we use gun diode along with pin modulator. After that, attenuator, frequency meter, slot line section. In general, ni. This slot line section is connected with detector mount. To find out attenuation of a component, we are going to insert in between slot line to the detector mount by using screws. Before starting any experiment, we have to check initial conditions. Now coming to the flash on power supply, except repeater voltage, all variable nodes should be in. Minimum position. Different voltage should be in max position, and always HP push pull button should be in off condition. Coming to the Q, Klystron fan should be on for entire experiment and after the experiment also. And frequency meter. This frequency meter consists of two copper lines. During top of the frequency meter, these lines moves up direction or down direction according to clock and anti clock directions always we keep in down side operational procedure of klystron power supply we have klystron power supply and klystron fan which are in divides Pressing power button, flash on power supply, on. We can here we can observe the readings of the repeater voltage, flash on voltage as well as current. Until unless we press the key mode, this should be in minimum voltage. Ammeter is connected to the detector mode here, and I am turning on the switch key. Then, by keeping meter selector into current mode, increasing current value to the twenty milli amps. Then, modulation should be in the AM position. Frequency. And after to subject variable at mid positions to get proper or maximize the output by varying repeater voltage, we have to check it. At around repeater voltage minus two twenty seven, I am getting eight hundred and sixty micro amps of Current. Now it is initial current to the test bench. So it is I max. We have to write down this values for attenuator. In this lab, we have three fixed type attenuators. One is 3 dB, 6 dB, and 10 dB. Here we are going to find out this. So first, I am taking 10 dB, and this 10 dB attenuator is inserted in between slot line to the detector mount by removing these screws.
and here we are getting So after coming the circuit as per the diagram and then we will get final output that is Ix that is around 90 microamps. So input is 860 and output is 9. We have to take the ratios. So when we are doing this in power method we call it as a power ratio analysis. So here Attenuation constant alpha is 10 log P input by P output. Here for the powers we are taken I max and we are substituting these values then we will get an attenuation constant. So same procedure for the 6 dB and 3 dB we are going to do. For that we will get a different outputs. We have to For 6 TV, it is 320. So we are going to replace 6 dB with 3 dB. For 3 dB, it is 540 micro amps. So, by substituting 3 dB and 6 dB, 10 dB values in formula, so whether uh, theoretical formula is matching with practical or not, we are going to verify. So, after completion of the experiment, we have to remove detector mount and attenuators, and detector mount is again connected to the starter line section. In this manner, we are going to perform experiment. 
coming to the calculation. Generally, attenuation measures in dB. To get the dB format, we use 10 into log. If we consider powers P max by Px, P max is input signal to the attenuator and Px is output obtained after the process. In this lab, we have used by using ammeter. So we are getting some currents. So attenuation alpha equal to 10 log of I max by Ix. Ix is obtained value. For example, if we consider 10 dB attenuator, we are applied 860 microamps to the attenuator and at detector mode we have received we got I max as 90 microamps. While substituting these values into the formula, we are getting 9.8 dB, which is approximately equal to the 10 dB. In the same manner, we have to find attenuation for 6 dB and thanking you.